to the real one that is located under one of the directories. And for those of you that are kind of confused, what this is, okay, the root, when you're using a terminal, a sh it's a command prompt, a terminal, a shell, a shell prompt, whatever you call it. When you use it, whatever your system root is, is where that terminal is going to look, start looking from for the commands it has to execute. So if you type something from this command, from this uh, live CDs system root as it is right now, it's not going to find it. Like the grub install command, it can't, it's not going to be able to find it because that's not on the CD. You have to change into your your real file system that's physically on the disk. You have to change into its directory. Tell it use that forward slash mount forward slash sys image, which is where your real file system is located uh, in this imaginary file system structure. Change the root directory to that. And then that's where it'll start looking for commands to execute when you give it commands to rebuild Grub. And if you still didn't understand me, I don't. I, I'm sorry. I just don't know how to explain it any any better. Um, okay. So now we're going to type it. Change root. C H R O C H R O O T. Then space forward slash M N T forward slash S Y S I M A G E I M A G E. Yeah. All right, so we changed our root directory. So now when we give it the commands, it's going to know where to start looking for the commands at in the real file system and not the, the one in memory. All right, now we're going to type grub grub dash install. It's all one word. The fuck did what just happen? Did I hit insert or something? All right. Grub install, all one word, grub dash install, for, and then space forward slash dev for your device directory, and then forward slash SDA for the SDA device. This assumes that Linux is actually installed on SDA. Um, actually, this just assumes that SDA is your default boot device. Um, if you're using an older version of Fedora, you might have to type in HDA or HD0, but any any more, it should always be SDA. Hit enter. You're going to see something that looks like this. Nothing at all. <laughs> Surprise. No, it's going to take a minute. It's running very slow. And it actually runs slow even when it's not on a virtual machine. When it's really in the computer and you're trying to recover your shit, it, it's actually this slow. It's pretty pathetically slow. Alright, there. It'll say installation finished, no error reported. This is the contents of the device map. And then it, it'll give you the directory. The, it'll show you the directory it's in. If this is, uh, check if this is correct or not. If any of the lines are incorrect, fix it and rerun the script. Um, and then it, right below that, it shows what the contents of the file device.map. It shows the contents of that, which is two simple entries in my case. Um, now, if this doesn't work, you might have to edit device map, device.map, which is under the, uh, after you've already changed your root directory, then it would be under the forward slash boot, forward slash grub, forward slash device.map. That would be the file, and you'd have to use VI to edit it. Um, and depending on your hard drives layout, how many hard drives you've got, where you installed Linux, etc., I cannot tell you here and now how to edit your device map file. It all depends on your layout. So you'd have to actually use the forums for that. Go to fedoraforum.org or use my forums at linuxintro.com. But uh, you probably, um, if you want much more experienced users to, because I'm not, I don't screw with this stuff too much. This uh, rebuilding grub, I do it once every in a blue moon. If somebody's uh, installation gets screwed up, or if somebody installs Windows later, um, but the users at FedoraForum.org, they uh, they do stuff like this all the time. So if I can't answer you, they can. Anyway, type exit to get out of the shell prompt that you just changed root into, and then type exit again to get out of the other shell original shell prompt that's in the live CD system memory and it will reboot the computer. When you reboot, you should have a working boot menu when your computer comes on. It should ask it should show you, "Hey, uh, I've got um uh, I've got Fedora, I've got Windows, I got what you need. What you need? I got what you need." It's like a drug pusher or something like that. Anyone if it does not, then you're going to have to go back into the rescue mode and uh, edit and possibly edit your grub.conf or grub configuration file. Um, 
And that is system specific too. It, it all depends on how you did your shit. So I can't tell you how to do that. Um, but I could tell you that's what you you either have to edit your grub configuration file or your device.map and then probably have to rebuild grub also. Um, especially if you edit your device.map, you, you almost positively will have to rebuild, rebuild grub. If you edit just your grub config file, you probably will not have to rebuild grub because it's just a te plain text file grub reads. Uh, anyway, all right, so that concludes this video. If you have any more questions about this, I've got forums on my website, and the people at Fedora Forums, I mean, there's some of those guys are gurus when it comes to the miscellaneous little shit like this that I just don't pay attention to and I don't really care much about. Some of those guys are gurus about little stuff like this, so that'd definitely be a place to go for help. All right, uh, that concludes this video, and uh, that's just about it. I would actually boot into Fedora for you, but I did not actually finish installing Fedora because it takes too long on a virtual machine and I figured it wasn't absolutely necessary. All right.